Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over using smart bins for organizing our media. A smart bins is a great tool for organizing media and even timelines within your project. Because, for example, in the past, people would always create a bin and put all their timelines in there. And it's not really all that necessary because smart bins can be configured to do this automatically for you. So what we do first is we come up to uh, the DaVinci Resolve pull-down menu, select Preferences. And then we come over here and we have under the Edit tab here in the User area of Preferences you will see automatic smart bins. So as you can see here, we have an option here for smart bins for timelines. And then we have another one, smart bins for keywords. And then we have another one, smart bins for people metadata, or you even have it for shot metadata or scene metadata. Okay, but let's just use these three for this point. And then we click on save. And now, as you can see here, we have our smart bins that have been created. Now, as you can see, I've got a couple of different types of media here, and I've got different timelines for each uh, section. So what I'm going to do is if I click on timelines now, I can see all my different timelines that have been created. And I can see, of course, the one that's loaded to this area. Now you have another way here that you can use um, smart bins for, and that's for keywords. So as you can see here, if I got keywords and I see all my Mazaimara media there, the reason I see that is because if I come here to the Mazaimara tab and click on this, any one of these, I have in the metadata area, I've created a keyword called Mazaimara Reserve. And once I do that, it will look for any clips that have this keyword and automatically put them into the folder for me. Now, for example, we have another one here called People. So as you can see here, uh, we've got all the ones with the different faces coming up here because what happens is that if I come to my um, faces library, these are the ones that I've actually done a face recognition detection for this. And so as you can see, I've got all the different ones from the different projects there. And if I click on here, as you can see, the system has automatically defined the facial recognition for these shots and therefore all these shots have now been placed into this folder for me automatically. So this is a wonderful way for actually going over and selecting all that. And if you look down here, if I select a shot like here or like this one here, as you can see, it shows me the name that I have assigned to this particular uh, clip for the lady that is in the shot. And as you can see there, it's listed under people. Okay, so for more tips and tricks like this, um, have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.